slow as it is with Puffy, the same thing will start happening within the Christian faith. God is giving his people divine justice. Every scandal to be uncovered. Do not be, do not be surprised what you're about to see. Don't be surprised. God is tired of the nonsense. God is saying, do not be surprised that over the next five to 10 years, and even starting in 2024, that there shall be a great falling away because there shall be leaders who were once great, they're gonna fall to nothing. Manipulators, abusers, those who gaslight, they are professionals at filling voids. They have a master's degree at fulfilling our internal cravings and they sit in them. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. It's God's side and the other side. All of these deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. There we go. Welcome, everybody. My name is Vitro Hill. I know you're here for question and answer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope everybody plays nice today because I'm going to play nice. You guys are here for a purpose. You have some questions. <clears throat> I have some answers. I'm going to answer them as much as I can. And then I'm going home. Well, I don't know. I'm going somewhere. I'm going up yonder. <laughs> I, um, uh, you say we can't hear you. You can't hear me? Can you guys hear me now? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, let's start. My name is Vita Hill. I am the spiritual leader of Safe Space. I normally teach spirituality and consciousness, but as you've seen the video yesterday, I had to pause for a second and address some things. I think it's only fair because I came out swinging, for the rafters, that is, that I take a moment and answer questions. So I'm going to do that. All right. I'm going to do that to the best of my ability. What I don't know, I'm not going to I'm not going to make it up. And what I don't feel like talking about, I'm going to say I don't want to answer that. I have some producers. <clears throat> I have some producers. They are fielding through these questions right now. They'll be adding some to the uh, lower thirds bottom when we get to that. All right. But I have an open letter for Larry. I need to read. All right. But before I do that, I got to first ask why now? Because that's the question that everybody wanted to know. So I gave you the order. I'm going to answer why now. I'm going to read the open letter. Just give me about 20 minutes for why now in the open letter. And then I'm going to answer, answer, answer the questions, the questions, the questions until, uh, yes, Tasha Global. Let me say this real quick. Shout out to Tasha Global. We did use her voice for the very first episode. Thank you very much for letting us use your voice. All right. <clears throat> Let me get to the get into it because, I, like I said, I don't like a lot of da-da-da. Um, why now? All right. And I read to keep me out of trouble. All right. So why now? After posting my video yesterday, I got a lot of comments, some good, some not so good. A lot of people asked me, why are you talking about this now? Well, months before yesterday, I've been talking about my tough times and what I went through, um, what I learned with my private community safe space with my family, my friends. And if you know me, you know I'm a strong component of therapy, okay? I figured out why I was involved with Larry Reed and his network for 15 years, right? And what happened was the Kiki Palmer story broke. 
Then the Diddy and Cassie news broke. And it was a wild, it was a great conversation. Uh, and we were getting ready for episode one. And I was talking to the producer and I was like, no abuser operates alone. They have a network. Well, the, 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 the producer looked at me on FaceTime and said, but wasn't you a part of a network? I froze. Immediately, if that question pulled the covers off of me. Because up until that point, I, because I survived, I chose not to think about those who are not doing as well as I am. I looked at it like I made it out. I don't care. But the moment he asked me that question, I knew then it is impossible for me to do an episode about exposure when I am hiding. OK, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me read the paper. At any rate. Uh, so let me tell you this. You can't be a trash collector. And not get dirty. Hmm. You can't be a lifeguard and not get wet. What, what, what I realize is the same darkness that caused me to stay in the community with Larry for 15 years was on some level the darkness that lived in me. See, I know you guys want, want some reason, and I'm going to get ahead of myself, why I'm doing this. I'm telling you why right now. Literally. If, it, if, if it, this wasn't the reason, I could just push this on and on and on and on and build my platform. I, I, I'm coming straight to the rafters. The problem was me. That is why I was able to leave Larry and the entire network of darkness and then come back because I left them, but it didn't leave me. Well, he didn't, didn't he come back? Yes, I did. I left in 2018 and came back in 2021. I did. Right. The more I bared my soul out to my private community, safe space, my family and my friends and in therapy, I began to see how dark everything truly was. At the same time, members from his community found me through him and came to my community disheveled and needing healing. And that made me angry. It made me furious that mishandling was still going on on top of what I interpret as abusive finances. I never forget I had a consultation. I do consultations. And there was a, a one of his members that did a consultation with me. And I asked the person a question that I'm thinking because, you know, it's high level or whatever. I said, ABC to EFG. They'd be like, what are you talking about? And, and if you don't know me, I'm hard. I said, ABC to EFG. And the person said, well, nobody's never asked me that before. And I got mad immediately because I thought all of this y'all got going on and your people don't have the basics. But let me stay on my paper. Sorry. And, and for those that know, when I go live, my producer sits on my left and, and wheels me in. So I'm going back to the script. Uh, script, script, script. So why now? <laughs> because now was the divine timing to cleanse. I want you guys to hear me. Now was the divine timing to cleanse my soul and free my soul. Why now? Because I can clearly see the mess I was in and how it almost consumed my life. After working through my issues and healing, I see how I assisted Larry in helping to hurt many, even when I really intended to help me. Therapy and talking about it allowed it to finally click how playing in Lisa's face all these years was evil. Y'all talking about he must want money and he this. Who wants to carry around that guilt on their consciousness for the rest of their life? I smiled in that lady's face. And I'm just going to move on with my life. That ain't right. If that's not enough reason to do what I did yesterday, y'all are dead in your souls. You have no, you have no conscience. At any rate, get back to the paper. Read to Rahel. Yeah. Therapy. Oh, skip. It helped me to see. No. Yeah. It helped me to see, though I never will get the full context of Levante's story. Why? Because I really didn't know and couldn't track it. Y'all heard the recording where Larry said. Uh, Shamako told him to ask Vincent how to handle this because Vincent knows how to handle these things. I remember the night it was going on because Larry pulled everybody in the office and told them, and I was sitting on the outside of the table. Mako and Larry 
Stayed up all night long. By the time I got to Larry, I said, what is going on? He said, nothing. Don't worry about it. Next thing I know, Levantre came back. Years later, some five, six, seven, maybe. I'm not doing the math right now. I've left Larry and someone that was close to me said, you need to go talk to him. And that's when I found out. Now, mind you, guess who's talking now? Guess who whistleblowed? Maybe that's why no one told me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Excuse me. I get excited and knock over my cups and stuff. See, the devil's busy. He don't want this truth to get out. He never shy. <laughs> the devil don't want this truth to get out. Hallelujah. All right. <clears throat> there is no way in the world. Because the, the fixer in me, hear, hear me, the fixer in me would have not allow Levantre to get to come back if I would have known those accusations was out there. Nobody called the cops. There was no, nobody did an article. There was no, it didn't go viral. It was hush hush. And that's why black families don't survive. That's why friends don't survive. Everybody has stopped communicating. Nobody wants to talk. I'm talking to y'all like y'all. Nobody wants to talk no more. Let me say this. Let me commercial break, because at the end of the day, I'm a spirituality and consciousness teacher. You need to open your mouth and open your heart. God can't get in your heart because you decided you've been hurt so much. You stopped talking and you're not doing yourself any favors anymore. And now people are treating you wrong, not because they mean to, because you have not communicated how to be treated. Open your mouth. All right. Get, I'm going to knock this cup over again. Let me just put it over here. Sorry, I'm so out of order. <clears throat> Now, <laughs> because I was black, no, well, I skipped a, 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 a thing. It helped me to see, though, I never was. Oh, let me read Levantre thing. It helped me to see, though, I never will get the full context of Levantre's story because I really didn't know and couldn't track it. He, but let me say this. Levantre, you wanted me to speak up. Here is my official line. Levantre Andrews has shared enough truth to where his voice deserves to be heard. Let me say this for a second. It, it, it hurt my heart uh, that I felt conflicted, Levantre. I really felt conflicted. And it was up until I learned more things within the last two years when I came back. When I came back, because you got to realize when you serve and it's along people in churches, they become like brothers and sisters. And then some of the things they do, you start giving passes to because you know them, the familiarity. And so I was stuck between a guy that I helped raise and the people that I call family. I never gave an official statement. If y'all check the records, I never gave an official statement. When they did the whole thing where Larry brought all the people on the panel last year, I didn't show up. Because I thought the best way to get through this is to shut up. But if y'all if could say I'm lying, but if you talk to the producer, I said there's some way I got to get to Levantre and let him know. But I don't have to now. Why? I've said it. I'm good now. Let me keep going. <sighs> All right. Uh, because, and I'm about to talk about me again. Um, because I was blinded, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull y'all comments. Y'all bear with me. I'm coming to the questions and answers, I promise. But give me a moment. I'm cleansing over here. All right? I'm cleansing. Y'all are being entertained, and some of you guys are being moved. We're all winning. It's a win-win. All right? Because I was blinded by the hustle of becoming rich and successful, even if it meant on the backs of others, which was wrong. Uh, excuse me. Even if it meant on the backs of others, which is wrong. I spotted it. No prophet came to me and said, oh, you don't got that thing on you. I came back in 2021. I looked around. I said, oh, oh, oh things have changed since I've left. Let me join the hustle. And I did. And I made good money doing it. 
And one day, in 20, February 2022, hear this. I came back January 1, 2021. I left February 2022 before Larry's birthday in 2022. I only stayed around a year. Larry and I got into a disagreement about the reality show and he got the da da da. And if you know me, I got a whole bunch of da 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 da. And we was da 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 da. And then, and we were good because I thought we were friends. But then he went to go pull that old school role. Who you talking to? I'm your prophet. I'm your, I said, fire me then. Now he says, he fired me. What he won't say was, I said, if you don't like it, fire me. That's the truth. At any rate, I'm not supposed to be talking about that. Focus, Vincent Terrell Hill. Uh, oh, I was blindsided by the hustle. So he said, well, how was you eating the steaks in the hotel? I liked it. I enjoyed the whole, I, th th those beds sleep well. Okay. And you would have too. <laughs> anyway, let me keep going. Um, so when I saw this, so when I saw all of this and began to make moves to be free from it, I started to understand more and more that I couldn't be fully free and until my silence ceased. How can I use my mouth and teach spirituality and consciousness to people without opening my mouth to release truth. The truth, my truth, okay? Why did I, okay, here, I got some, I got this, y'all better watch out. Why did I expose every, uh, everybody versus just Larry? I have an answer for you. Because secrets are the demonic covenant that binds all of that network together. They would rather die before they choose exposure. I publicly participated in this covenant from 2003 up until yesterday. That's 21 years. In order to defy complicity, it required me to publicly do the opposite. Yesterday, I, sm I spoke up to snatch the cover off the entire bed. There was a method to my madness. I am not a rave. I am. If anybody knows, I'm very smart. If you know, you know. So I don't I don't I don't have to be mad. My brain works well for me to get what I want. So this wasn't about that. I had to pull the complete covers. All right. Stay on script. Why? Because I am determined to be free. That's all. And after tonight, I'm done. I, I will do an interview to tell my personal story of abuse with Larry that is more dark and sinister than anything I've said thus far. Because I, I had to put me on the stake first. Once I get off this stake tonight, off this altar, then I can become a victim. <laughs> I'm not supposed to laugh at that. I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right. To be clear, I'm not looking for money. You know why? I chose to leave his money, and I'm better because I did. I'd lose everything I own, then live off of another dirty dime again, okay? My heart can't do that again, all right? I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. All right, now, what was I saying? Oh, am I looking to get back at Larry? No, God is the true judge. What I have found is it's best to let God do his good God work. <laughs> what do I need to do that for? That's not who I am. Look at my content. Look at everything I post. You think about human habit. Why I go from this. I, if I was disgruntled, everyone would have known it by now. OK. All right. Now, I'm going to read this letter to Larry and then we're getting into the. Uh, uh, we're getting into the. Uh, hey, producers, um, can some when we do the question and answer, can somebody please put up a question about this saying, go to the police, because I have something about that, because I'm confused, and I, I mean genuinely confused, all right? Now, open letter to Larry. Hold on. I'm thirsty. By the way, this is water. For those that are going my lives, I drink water out of uh, mason jars. It's not gin. Now look. All right. Dear Larry, y'all ready? 
Dear Larry, hey man, I haven't spoke to you since August of 2023. Let's chat. I learned something from you in the old breakthrough church days. I learned to track the pattern. I've tracked that every year around the top of the last two to three years, you're faced with a public opportunity to confront and to atone. But instead, you show up publicly, act unbothered, and try to monetize each situation. While some say you're smart for it, I feel sincerely grieved for you. I feel sorry because I understand that slow, steady hand of judgment as she gives us opportunities to adhere to her soft warnings. Yet year after year, you ignore the incentives and reject these divine chances to redeem. Then here comes V. Terrell Hill, the troublemaker, as per normal, jumps in the flow of purging and cleanses his hands. And yet up until now, though deeply bothered, I know you are, probably haven't slept at all, you would choose to maintain deception and go down as a loser than to take what feels to you like a loss, but it's really a win in truth. Every time you Google my name, this is going to come up. I'll take that L so I can win in truth. I, I won. Good God Almighty. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have did that. I, I really should have had some shouting music going here. I won! I, I don't care if y'all don't understand. I finally won. You think this is about money? This is about, this is about freedom. I, feel, I, woke, I woke up feeling good this morning. I freed my soul. I won. <laughs> my, okay, sorry. I wish I had. Look at your name and say name. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guys. I'm coming to the questions and answers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, year after year, you ignore these incentives. All right. Then here comes Peter Hill, Bother, but have slept. Oh, oh, I said all that. I am disheartened for those around you who unconsciously remain locked up because they don't have the internal infrastructure to set themselves free unless by your leading. Why am I writing to you? Listen, those around you need you to do exactly what I did yesterday and just be honest. This is a spiritual work. I don't care nothing about y'all sensationalize it. Get the clicks, get the likes. I'll go back to my videos that got 31 views. But I'm honest. Hey, hold on. Excuse me. I mean, this is fun. There's 2,000 of y'all on here, and I can play the game, but I'd rather go back to 31 views and sleep at night and get my karma cleansed, to get my air cleansed, set up my generation for wealth and real wealth and prosperity. You're not wealthy if all you got is money, but you got to hide and you got to make sure you keep that secret and go over there and tell this lie and tell that lie, do that and do that and do that. And you got to maintain all your individual relationships because you you don't want the one and two to come together because the truth is going to come out. So you got to keep that one separate over there and do that and do that and then pay this one off and go to court and sue this, do this, do this. I won! That's it. That's it. I won. I ain't got to deal with it no more. It's off of me. I'm, I'm done. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. What was I saying? Realize that despite the embarrassment or pride by you doing that, they will have the opportunity to follow and free their souls as well. Unfortunately, until you do so, they won't do so. Because your network was never set up like that. You set up a network that makes it impossible for God to truly access you or those connected to you. Why? God lives in truth. When you block truth out, you block love out. You block compassion out. You block patience out. Live in truth and you will dwell in God. Here is the deal. 
There are too many people that you could inspire if you would just sit your community down and be totally transparent. Tell them the truth and give them the space to tell you the truth. Then get your microphone and amplify the truth to set the masses that follow you free. I'm almost done. We're going to read these questions. Where was I at? Oh, it would really suck for me. I want y'all to hear. It would really suck for me to move on from this season free. Having experienced a cleanse of karma while you return right back here next year, if you make it. We know I've never been a lie. You know, I know everybody that knows me know. It, you ain't, you will never, besides, well, okay. I almost got in trouble. <laughs> hey, hold on. This live thing is dangerous for me. <laughs> everybody knows me. You'll never find a rumor that I'm a liar. Everybody knows I'm not a liar. I've always been a beacon of truth. You know my forwardness that I exuded yesterday. And you know I'm like this all the time. I'm just going to just say it. You also know that my loyalty and my commitment to the bigger picture is strong. So for me to come out and say what I said should arrest your attention to wake the hell up. Rather than attack my character, I challenge you to respond to what I said. I said, respond. Respond to what I said. Assuming you haven't, I challenge you to simply look your ex-wife in her face and tell her it's true. Grant her, respect her enough. Look her in her eyes. You are the one that taught me. When you harm somebody, you have to have that same level of energy to heal them. When you hurt somebody, that same energy you hurt them, that you need to use that same level of energy to heal them. The same level that you called her, all the things, Vashti, Jezebel, and all those things, look her in the eye and say, it's true. Your followers who love and support you and who are caping for you right now and really can't stand my guts, they deserve the truth, too. That way, if they get mad, at least they know. I mean, I think that's unfair. That's really unfair. Anyway, you are doing them a disservice by ignoring this opportunity for internal peace. Y'all don't be fooled by money. Let me tell you something. Don't be fooled by no money. Don't you be fooled by money. I've Listen, I've had a decent amount of money and ain't had no peace. You're looking at somebody who ain't got no decent amount of money, but I got peace. I'm going to get the money. I'm going to get it the right way. I'm going I'm to build my community person by person. I'm going to build my YouTube channel, like, share, subscribe, and comment, per, person by person. So that, uh, script. As the world watches to see what you do at this moment, I pray you choose truth. So by this time next year, we will all know it. For your soul, God bless. All right. It's question and answer time. Praise the Lord, everybody. Well, dang. Y'all quick with it. Okay. All right. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a message that they want me to go to commercial. We're going to run this commercial. Uh, before you go to the commercial, got to move the, the, uh, the, uh, got to move the, uh, comment off. It's going to be on top. All right. But bring that back up. All right. Go ahead. Take it to commercial. I would love for you to join our email community. In the description box of this video is a link. You click it, put your name and email address in the information, press submit, and you are going to be a part of our email community. But guess what? You got to check your spam box because there's a double opt-in. So you got to confirm that you truly meant to sign up. Would you like to be notified every time we go live? There's a simple way to do that. Join our free text club. All you got to do is text V Terrell Hill to this number, 833-358. 3658. You just text it. Text V Terrell Hill to 833-458-3658. All right, this is the last announcement and then we're going back to the content. I am gifted to help people become their best self and I want to offer you a free consultation. There has never been one person that has had a free consultation with me that did not leave better than when they came, all right? All of that information I just went over is in the description box connected to this video. All right, let's get back to the content. Love 
are acceptance, loneliness, extreme poverty or neglect, homelessness, father trauma, fatherlessness, low self-esteem, rejection, desperation, or longing for an opportunity, and so much more. All these are points of access. A predator leans into your void to facilitate an environment for you to lower your inhibition. You have a void, and those same voids are the seat the predator set in to then only weaponize them against you in a mastery art of manipulation and gaslight. You have nowhere to go. If you leave here, your life is over. No one loves you like I love you, and this is how you treat me. The truth is your victimizer appeared as or with solutions to your needs, or more plainly, adapted the role of void filler in your life at some point. As your voids were being filled, Abuse ensued simultaneously. This is the foundation of imprisonment. I see. All right. Thank you for hanging in there. I had, I had to take a commercial, but I was listening. I just got to do hollering and hooping and what. All right, producers, go ahead, lay it on me. God, give me strength for this. Okay. <clears throat> Question, did you go to Raleigh Police Department to give a statement in support of Levantre Al uh, Andrews and allegations against Larry Reid? I'm going to be honest with you, uh, 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 the baddest blogger. Y'all hear me. I don't think y'all understand. I think, I, think because, I think because people be up here lying and whatnot, that y'all really think I'm cutting up. I don't have a clue what's going on. No, for real. Think about it. I was able to get through this entire, I was the man right beside Larry Reed for what, 10 plus years, his right hand man, stayed in the same house with him. And y'all have heard more about Mako and Kendall and everybody else besides me. Why? I purposely stepped away from it. Like they, they may think that I'd be like watching them. I really don't. I don't follow them. They don't know my algorithm. They, they could, he, Larry could be live right now. I wouldn't know it. I didn't know there was a, listen, all I know was when Larry came by my house, January the 15th, 2023, Larry was contemplating what he should do. I never, I met Larry four different times because he was like, well, let's eat less, let's, because, because I think he had, somebody told me he said that I was jealous because um, I wouldn't take him on trips. I, <clears throat> Let me just say this. Y'all don't. It's best for you not to say things that can be proven wrong. Clearly, just, just work with me. Work with me. That doesn't work with you. Don't say things that can be proven wrong. Because I was being asked, come here, come there, come there. I have on the recording where I told him that you coming out of nowhere is, is interrupting my life. I had just started working on my YouTube channel and I told him I had the recording. I said, I want to stay for, I don't want, I said this, I don't want things to go back as they were. I want to focus on my YouTube channel. That's why he went to his Patreon and told y'all to follow me to get my subscribers up because I was telling him, I don't want to reconnect like that. He said to me, I really want, I want you to go. I want you to go. No, no, no. After they came back from that last year birthday trip, I, was a, well, I don't know where they were. I think it was Aruba. He said, I wanted you to go, but I know you ain't trying to do that right now. I, Larry came by my house January. I didn't give in to meeting him for breakfast, I believe, the three or four months later. And if, and if I'm lying, I'm not doing no more videos. I don't, I'm not doing no more videos of this. I'll put, I'll put the, if, 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 if anyone says I'm lying, I will put the screenshots from the text messages on my community page. He was trying to get me to get back into that life of going with them and stuff. And I said, I will, because my thing was when you join certain people, you not, it's not just Larry and many people like that. You're not allowed to grow your own thing. You got to be in their own thing. I didn't want to do that no more. So I decided to focus on my stuff. So that's not, I mean, so, so, so the baddest blogger, I know, I know y'all really trying to get like a hook. I get it. 
I know I get it because in the industry of talking about current events, there's always a snake in the grass. I, I didn't show it on my head. I don't I don't know if let me say this. somebody asked this question. I only responded to one question. When y'all were leaving the questions in the comments and the one question I responded to was, if this goes to court and out of mediation, will you testify? And I said, yes. I will. I, I said the comment. So all of this kind of why aren't you doing it? Listen, do y'all know the part in the, the in the in the recording where it's I said, if you were having an inappropriate relationship with the administrator or assistant, it would make sense that they would believe you have an inappropriate relationship with the drum, the young drummer. You know why I said that? Because in the recording, I told Larry, do not have them people subpoena me because I'm going to tell the truth. And if anybody again say I'm lying, I'll just because the recording is very long. It's two and it's two. It's two hours and 30 minutes of us talking, y'all. It's two hours and 30 minutes. And in that recording, I it's clear. I said, do not have them people knock on my door because it's not going to go well because I'm going to tell the truth. So all this kind of well, why if, if, if you sold for honesty, then why are you doing it? Y'all don't know me. I'm showing you who I am right now. All right. Has anyone from his inner circle contacted you since the video? Uh, hey, James. Hey, James. Unfortunately, not. Uh, no, 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 not, no, 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 not unfortunately, not. <laughs> well, I say unfortunately because the reality is, uh, mm, no, stick to the script. No, James, they haven't. Hey, James, good to see you. James was my former roommate in college. All right, next question. I actually have a series um, in my playlist called Next Question. All right, next question. All right, my only questions. All right. <clears throat> My only questions are, did you take an HIV test and what are the results? Do you know if he has it? Thanks in advance if you decide to answer and I believe you, everyone is not lying. Okay, first of all, thank you. Let me tell y'all this. One thing that I, I am not happy about was that I knew he was gay. I just knew how, how grown men gonna da da da. And I, I, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all some gay haters. I don't care what y'all say. Even the gay ones. Y'all don't love yourself. I said plain as day yesterday, the gay ain't the issue. Stop using gay to disparage people. That's not nice. Secondly, HIV is not a joke. Stop that. If that man have HIV, he is dying. Well, no, no, excuse me. Excuse me, that's not true. If he has HIV and not taking his meds, he is dying right now. That's not funny. Now, to answer the question, I took a test September 2023. Literally, September 2023, they pulled my blood in the rapid test. I'm negative. And guess what? I have not had sex since September. <laughs> That's why I'm hollering right now. I need sex! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, for real, my bed's been dry. Uh, uh, producers, one of y'all responded up under my name or somebody has hacked me one or the other. Uh, but I'm going to read it anyway. Is this all about money? It appears that Larry stopped paying you. Hold on. How was that say say sex with Beat Terrell Hill? Oh, um, producer number one, you're smiling. Did you do that? Oh, two did that. Y'all don't scare me. My nerves be bad. Y'all know I'm jumping. Oh, oh, okay. They tell me to read. I'm sorry. Is this all about money? It appears that Larry start paying you and now you're upset because he cuts you off. Are you a disgruntled employee? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Let me break this money. <laughs> Let me break this money down for y'all. All right. Um, Everybody know me though. I am jumpy. That I saw my name jumped up. I went to looking around. What the hell going on around here? All right, let me focus. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming. All right. Um, when I quit, when I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell the whole story. When okay, I'm, I'm gonna give Larry. Larry fired me. We'll just say he fired me, right? Well, I was going about my business. My dad said, "Is he gonna give you a balloon payment?" That's what you talking about, Dad? He said, "You've done too much for that man." Stellar awards. Radio promoting. You know, I ought to tell Larry live story. I, you know, I got people in the room and people digitally that keep me reeled in and everybody was shaking their head. I'm not telling Larry live story. I would love, listen, the tea, but I'm not going to. <laughs> all right, all right, folks. Um, so what happened was, so my dad said, and I'm like, I ain't paying that no attention. 
My mom called me later on and says, he need to give you money. I said, have you talked to dad? She said, no, I ain't talked to him. I mean, they live in the same house, but not about that. Then one of his Patreon members called me. They had a question to ask me. I said, I want you to know I'm no longer uh, working at the NBN Network, so if you want to disconnect or whatever, fine. And she was like, no, 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 I, I've known you since the old Larry Live days, so we're good. She said, and Larry need to pay you money. I need to get this off my heart. I need to get this off my heart. When I, Larry Reed Live, my hands was in it. The books, before 2018, my hands was in it. The Stella Awards, the radio promoting, to get that single up, my hands was in it. I was the brains. You want me to prove it? When I left in 2018, did any music hit the charts? The only thing that was done from 2018 to 2021 is some lyric videos and Larry Reed Live, which was being done when I left. You know that Reformation conference that happened every year? Guess what it happened? 2021. You know the reality show that came out? Guess what it happened? 2021. You know the documentary that was going on? 2021. Is, the rea is season two of the reality show finished? No. Why? I left. Did the documentary ever get complete? No. Why? I left. The Reformation experience, from what's been told to me, is getting weaker and weaker. Why? I left. Because you could never replace me. So, let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. And I'm not, try I'm not trying to steal away from you because... You were a great pusher. You were a great motivator. But disgruntled employee, not. So at any rate, I went to Larry and I said, all of the work I've done, everybody else is eating off of it besides me. And I feel like you should pay me monthly. You should not say, I feel like you owe me a balloon payment for all I've done for you. Because all I've done was in the church. And as a church member, you just serve God and the pastor. So there was never a grief. So I could not take Larry Reed live back. I didn't own Roy, I didn't own nothing because I was doing it unto God. So I could I had no legal rights to none of it. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. So why you leave? You understand? So I said, at least you can do is pay me. And guess what? If I'm lying, then why did he pay me? If I'm lying right now. Why was he paying me $8,000 a month and I was not an employee or a contractor of the NBA network? Because that was our deal. And then his staff and him started acting funny. And I backed up a little bit because I wasn't tied to them at all. Right. And they disinvited me to the, the Reformation experience. And I was like, wow. What's going on? So I was like, you know, and then they were like, well, you can come on Sunday. I was like, I'm not coming at all. And I said, I'm not going to worry about it because Larry going to call me because he's going to need me for something. And sure enough, when he called, I told him and I recorded that conversation, too, because my trust had got broken. So I started recording all the conversations. And, it, and, it, and let me tell you, I will play it. No, I can't do it no more. This is my last live show. God dog it. My hands are tied. But I got it. I'll get you know what? I'll give it to somebody. I will. I said to Larry, I said to Larry, uh, I, I can't do it right now because I got to get myself together because I don't understand basically how you're, how you're treating me. And he got mad at me because I told him no and took the money he said he was going to give me back from me because he was paying me $8,000 a month. And he left me for broke. I was broken. And I went out there. I go to a place out of water out here and meditate. And I prayed to God and I said, God, you got to help me because I don't know how I'm paying my bills. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I found a way. I, I was a substitute teacher. I contracted media for a church. What else did I do? And I did little small jobs. And I worked myself out of it. So when I got that text message from Larry in January saying, now, mind you, that was July, right? That was July. What? Five months later, three, six months later, all of a sudden, hey, I want to talk. 
I was shook up. Now, if you want proof of this, if you want proof, go to in my in my lives and go to the January 16th, 2023 show. It says I had therapy today. And I talked about how bad my day was because I because I I was so hurt by how he treated me. I bought I had to box my emotions up, put them at the top of the closet and get to work for I lose everything. So then I'm getting to a place where I'm finding my stride. I just started my YouTube channel. I'm doing my thing. And then you're coming to disrupt me. Which I said in that recording as well. This is a disruption for me. So when he came, it, it made me have to. Um, it made me have to unbox emotions I wasn't ready for. So he finally paid me all the money. So for those of y'all that are saying I'm doing this because he didn't pay me the money, he gave me the last check in July. So it's not about that. You know what happened to me also in July? I found my new tarot card reader who's sitting over here right now. And she said to me, Heal, you need to rest and talk. You need to rest and talk because God's going to help you heal because, watch this, by February, God going to blow you up and put your name everywhere. And if you're not rested and you have not talked, you're going to drop the ball. Not knowing that I would end up on February the 5th or 16th or whatever these days is doing this. At any rate, so I, I doubled my therapy. All right. Did you ever have a conversation with Larry about your concerns? Didn't I just say that? Maybe I didn't say that. Oh, you knew playing in Lisa's face was evil before therapy. Well, pink sauce is proven. I mean, come on now. Like, can I be honest with y'all? As much, listen, I played a, I want, I want, leave that up there. I want to make a point. I need to, I want y'all to hear me. Do y'all think this is easy? Do you think it was easy to hear that recording of that man say that he calmed in my ass for all those years? You got to remember that was January. I started really working on my healing around about July, like deep healing. I'm talking about deep healing. You think it was easy? You think it was easy to do that to those people? You, re you really think I'm getting anything out of this? You know these videos don't pay that much? I'm tired, okay? I've been doing this all day. It takes a lot for us to script these things out. You, you don't understand until you get in a certain space. All right, Lisa, Pink Solstice, I, I, I feel you. I know it seems like that, but if, I am, if I'm the kind of person that will deprecate myself, because it was really a sort of a bottom shaming comment that I didn't have, and let me be honest, I didn't have the inner strength I had right now to be like, I don't like that. So you know what I did? I laughed it off. But that made me uncomfortable. So I don't think y'all know how this feel. I know I look fearless, but I get afraid too. All right, next question. Would you testify for Daryl Moore to get the, that media, mediation reversed? What would I be testifying for Daryl Moore? Um, um, in, my, in my mind, what I would do for Daryl, because I believe Daryl got in trouble for caping for Levantre. But Daryl, the reality is, you know, and I and I'm I don't I don't I don't know you, Daryl Daryl, you don't know me. But Daryl, you went a little too hard, man. And I know you're supposed to go hard for the truth, but sometimes you gotta read the writing on the wall so you can live to see another day. And I think you you went in, not think, you really went in too much and got lashed for it in a way. Come on, I'm gonna tell you this. The Bible says this. You gotta be wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, okay? You gotta move like a snake, but don't mean no harm. But Daryl, you, you went too hard. And, when you, and, and the thing is you can't take a knife to a gunfight. So if you know someone has more money than you, you know, you got to think like that. So you got to see David did not use Goliath's weapons. David used his own. And I think what happened, you got into the, the fight, Daryl, too strong and too passionately and you got caught up. So my suggestion, Daryl, is push the Levantre case because exonerating Levantre and I'm assuming and don't I'm not a lawyer. I'm just talking out loud. 
exonerating Levantre would, would sort of indirectly exonerate you. You see what I'm saying? That's the best way because when it comes to, I think that Daryl has a liable, a, a li, is it liable? Li, liable suit? A defamation. He's a defamation suit. So the only way to do that is to prove what you were saying was right. But me having a, rela a, a sexual relationship with, uh, with, with Larry don't prove that. Um, my experience saying that what Levantre said is the same experience as mine don't necessarily prove that. It weighs the, the opinion of the, 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 of the, the, uh, what is it, the jury. So, I mean, so I'm not trying, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to shit on nobody this, today. I, I promise you I'm not. So, I, I, listen, I don't want no in that smoke, y'all. All right, Daryl, I don't want no in that smoke. Okay? <laughs> I'm just simply trying to say, push that Levantre case through and it will inadvertently exonerate you. That's my guess. But, if, and I'll say, I'll, Daryl, I'll say to you like I said to Larry, I'm going to tell the truth, but let me say this. I tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me God. So I don't have friends. I have truth when it comes to that. But so, but the question is, if, if the people knock on my door, I'm coming. Hey, Vincent. Hey, Shanice. I don't even know who you is, but hey, baby. Uh, my question is, did you shut? So, if you did, I hope that you publicly apologize. William, I'm sorry. Listen, let me tell you something. Y'all leave me alone. I, I, I'll say this proudly but humbly. I'm not nobody to play with. You know why I don't have nobody to play with? Because I, I'm too honest. I'm just too straightforward. I'm sorry, William. All right? Everybody happy? Would you? <laughs> no. That's done. Absolutely not. Do you feel like he really loved? No, he didn't. I was being used. He don't love nobody. You know, and then let me say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me be clear. If I'm telling the truth, if God, if I'm lying, I'll die right now. I did not know that was the truth of what I just said about two weeks ago. I'm going, I did that record. I promise y'all this. I promise I'm not. I, I did, I had it on, all that noise because that, it was on my Apple watch and I didn't know every time I was moving, it was cold outside, my jacket or sweatshirt was rubbing up against the microphone. I did that recording and put it up and went on about my business. The producer was telling me, we need to go to the recording, we need to go to the like, I don't want to go to this recording. We went through the recording and because I took, I, I didn't listen to it for 365 days. One year later, after healing and crying and working, I heard something different. And when I heard it, I broke and cried like a baby. Because I just thought I had an effed up friend. I didn't know I was being used. He called me in that car because I, 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 I had a tenant here. I said, I'll meet you in your car. I went in that car. He said, well, you want to talk? I said, Larry, you text me. What am I, I don't even know what you're here for. Um, but before I get started, do you love me like I still love you? And I said, yes. I said, oh, no, I said, Larry, my love don't work like that. What I know now was he was basically asking, before we have this conversation, can I trust you? Or are you going to turn on me? He wasn't talking about love. He just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to turn. And because I was so vulnerable, no, excuse me, I always approach life so honest and innocent, believe it or not. He assumed that he still had that thing on me. He never thought I would record that conversation. When he said, do you still love me like I love you? He was making sure I was still in place and hadn't altered since the last six months. And when I said, my love don't work like that, he said, oh, I still got him. And started yapping. <laughs> Have you attempted to reach out to Lisa concerning this? Do you believe she would accept him? Uh, no, I don't believe Lisa would be receptive of this. It took, it took me... Uh, years to break out of this and I still went back for another year um, but I'll tell you what if Lisa ever reach out to me I will drop I owe Lisa even if Lisa uh, don't think I'm telling the truth I owe Lisa an apology to her face I owe Levantre that statement I gave I owe Lisa an apology to her face and Lisa if you hear this I would 
I really would. I mean, don't swing on me. I'm, I'm, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> no, for real, I don't. You probably beat me up. All right, next question. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll explain. There's a lot of this I'm leaving out. I will go through in the interview whenever I choose an interview. That's more personal than what you guys would know. Tarot cards are from the spirit. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was wondering, you know, they're like, read it, read it. Okay, okay, okay. Tarot cards are a form of spiritual communication, just like the Bible. Return to your true self and stop being brainwashed. Let me tell you this. My oppressor calls himself a prophet. Get out of my life. Next. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. The person that y'all came up here to get the tea on calls himself a prophet, and you got something. All right. Can you stop talking like if you're jo oh my oh my god I forgot to give the disclaimer oh that's my oh my god and y'all I'm so used to talking to people that know me even okay I don't know okay I don't even know how to say this I have a tick where I grin for no reason I smile even when I'm serious it's always been like what. Like, uh, Unless I'm pissed or I'm busy, I'm working. So sorry, I I don't want nobody. I never I did a I did a show one back when I was doing hot topics. I did a show about a murder, and I was like, <laughs> and people really got upset. And I was trying my best to tell them people that's natural, especially when I get a little nervous, because no matter how strong I'm presenting, I'm a whole human, right? I'm a whole human, you know that, right? Mr. Buddha, what do you think about CTV? Sure, um, CTV. Uh, Okay, so yes, let, let me let me tell you. <laughs> there I go, right there. See, what I'm talking about. That, okay, poop. You see that? I'm about to say something serious, and I <laughs> that's natural for me. All right, all right. Conscious television. If I want you, if you, all right, listen to me clearly. I'm about to blow this spot up real quick. Conscious television has a recording of me. Yes, he does. I think it was a two hours we talked on the phone. If he does not play the whole recording, you're going to know why. And let me tell I'm too smart for this. I am too smart for this. Like, can I say your name? Or you don't want to say your name? Oh, listen, my tarot card reader is Lakia Johnson. She's nothing to play with. And she's going to be on with the producer, with the producer, hopefully in March next month. I'm bringing, I'm bringing, I hope if everybody is in alignment, I'm going to bring my tarot card reader and my producer on so we can talk about sort of the prophetic flow that led to this. Y'all don't understand what's behind this, but anyway. Conscious Television recorded me um, right after Larry fired me. And let me tell you the proof if he does not cut it up. You ready? <laughs> I every, every, every 15 or 20 minutes, I would say, Conscious, I know you recorded me. I'm not stupid. Them jokers always, they, because I, they, I'm smart. I'm smart, okay? <laughs> I'm too smart for this. I swear, I said to Conscious in that two-hour conversation, you know, I know you recorded me, right? So when he's doing those recordings and y'all don't hear that, he playing games. Daryl went too hard. He was persecuted for giving victims a safe place to tell All right, all right. I'll tell you what, I'll take too hard back. He was not using, he wasn't using wisdom. He wasn't using wisdom. Are you going to get William Crazy's website files back, back that you deleted? Okay, who said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who said I deleted any files? And how could I give them back if they were deleted? I don't, a, a, answer that, ask that question again. And, and producers, if y'all see it, put it back up. Yeah, I, hold on. Let me put this back up. All right, never mind. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. Never mind. Next. Question. What Was it that good? <laughs> oh. <laughs> y'all so stupid. Oh. Y'all know this is my life, right? This is my whole life. Okay. All right, next. Hey, get a real profile pic. Ugh. 
You was living with the alleged victims and you don't know nothing? Right. Let me help you. Thank you for asking that, Ms. Furlow Speaks. Y'all ask the hard question so we can go ahead and get this out. When you are up under the auspices of a uh, manipulator, a gaslighter, a narcissist, they keep everybody separate. They keep everybody, every, and every individual person has their own flow of information. So what I know, Shamako don't know. And what Shamako knows, Kendall don't know. I'm going to tell, I'll tell more story later. We were not even allowed to have friends that Larry didn't approve. I had to ask for permission to visit my family on Christmas Eve because I couldn't go on Christmas because I had to be with him. You understand? So you would not believe the kind of minute. That's why I don't believe that Lisa has been is good because of the amount of work that's been done on her mind for years. I should have blown my brains out uh, many a times, breaking free from the mental manipulation and, and uh, the mental Olympics that was done on me. All right, how do you feel about your character being questioned? You've been called Judas, evil, and no better than Reed. Um, well, you can't question my character unless you know me. So, I mean, I, 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 okay, I can understand why someone would say that, but uh, I don't, I feel like I'm doing a righteous work. All right. What do you mean you as a grown man could, couldn't get permission? Absolutely. Yeah. I would probably cape for everyone around in that inner circle. I would probably cape for them if I didn't think they would be so vitriol against me. You have no idea what goes behind the scenes in some of these religious and spiritual places. You have no idea. And the thing is, because how I was raised at the time, because remember, I joined Breakthrough at 23 years old. I was still very young, and I was a church boy. At 23 years old, I only had sex with one person before I had sex with Larry. Larry was the second person I ever had sex with in my life. And guess what? From 23 to 36, I only had sex with him. So I didn't know a lot. I was raised in the church, and I was raised when the man of God says something. And I understand why a lot of the old breakthrough people are mad and upset and, and angry. One person inboxed me and said, thank you so much. I feel validated because there was times I wanted to commit suicide because we were obedient at this promise of getting a greater dose of God. We, those in that church really wanted God. You understand? So we were trying our best to please God by pleasing the man of God. Did you ever feel convicted from God while dealing with Lisa and the children whom trusted you? Uh, no, I didn't because I, I was serving the man of God. And listen, I don't have to lie, y'all. I promise to God, I would just tell you, I don't know. It was one day, it was one day I was talking to what I, who I thought was a friend, Vincent, don't do it. And uh, I said something about Lisa. I said, oh my God. They said, what? I said, I owe Lisa an apology. That was last year, 2023 because the work that was done on my mind. But I'm trying to save that more personal stuff for the interview because I'm looking, listen, what I'm looking for in a person that's not in the church space, that hardly don't know who Larry Reed is, but have sort of heard what's going on and they're a little enthused, why? Because I want that person to drill me. I want that person to look at me and be like, that's not making no sense. Explain that again, I'm gonna call you a liar. If you can't do that, I don't wanna be interviewed by you. William said he was paying you to handle his. Where is, well, why don't Will, William, I know you're watching. Bring your hips on here so we can talk. I know you're here. The baddest blogger, stop being a, uh, just, what? William, just ask. Hell. Anyway, William said he was paying you. To, okay. Pharrell, oh, no, go back to Pharrellis. Go back. No, no, go back to Pharrellis. Go back to Pharrellis. Go back to Pharrellis. Uh, the baddest blogger, no disrespect to the baddest blogger, but tell William to bring his hips on here. Um, but go back to Pharrell. Vincent, I'm so proud of you for being able to see it, it, it for what it is. You're truly free now. Watching all of this in the silent, I understand. Thank you, Pharrell. I appreciate that. 
I appreciate that. All right. How long have I been up here? Ow! It's only been an hour. Oh, I'm doing good. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, we, have to, we have to run to a commercial, but let me say this real quick. Y'all see how I ain't asked for no cash out? I ain't say I'm only doing the Q&As in Patreon. That's what I'm talking about, sensationalizing situations. And so much could get accomplished. Just tell the people the truth straight up. All right. Before Remember, before you go to commercial, you got to move the lower thirds. Uh, they're calling for a commercial. Come back. We're going to keep on going. Uh, maybe about 30 more minutes. We'll go 30 more minutes. All right. But move the, throw, move, uh, remove the lower third uh, producer too, and then we'll go to commercial. Uh, all right. Let's rock and roll. I would love for you to join our email community. In the description box of this video is a link. You click it, put your name and email address in the information, press submit, and you are going to be a part of our email community. But guess what? You gotta check your spam box because there's a double opt-in. So you gotta confirm that you truly meant to sign up. Would you like to be notified every time we go live? There's a simple way to do that. Join our free text club. All you gotta do is text V Terrell Hill to this number, 833 Four five eight three six five eight. You just text it. Text Vitorel Hill to eight three three four five eight three six five eight. All right. This is the last announcement, and then we're going back to the content. I am gifted to help people become their best self, and I want to offer you a free consultation. There has never been one person that has had a free consultation with me that did not leave better than when they came, all right? All of that information I just went over is in the description box connected to this video. All right, let's get back. To the content. And that's when I experienced verbal abuse, physical abuse, and then my uncle would come back and forth. And so the sexual abuse started again. Is that all you saw in me? Was that I was an easy target? Anything that seems like validation or anything that seems like, you know, I'm worth something, you hold on to it. You latch on to it with everything you have. And not truly understanding how it was playing into relationships that I had mostly kind of with family or friends. I didn't really get engaged in too many romantic relationships. So if you think about um, perhaps domestic abu abuse or religious abuse, religion is used as either a cover for that or a justification for that. Oh, y'all ain't gonna remove that thing, ain't you? Let me do this for the. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, they just they just sitting there. I was watching the producer like, you gonna move it? All right. But as a matter of fact, thank you. Uh, I have two producers that's on uh, on 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 set working with. But they're not on set. They're digital. Praise God. And then I have. <laughs> ah! Oh my God! Oh my God! I love that question. Um, and then I have, of course, my tarot card readers with me, and then her cousin. Can I show your name on the Her cousin Virgil is here. And so uh, we're here. All right. Uh, did you get paid by TD Jakes? You'll never know. Think about it. If he did pay me, am I supposed to answer that? <laughs> you, you know how bad of a mamma jamma I would be? It, I mean, I'll tell you what, you'll know if I get paid by TD Jakes. I come with a gold grill, <laughs> I get my stomach removed. All right, say says Vitor Hill at William. Oh, well, okay. Okay, uh, producer two, look for William McCray's content. This is about to be fun. <laughs> Thank you, the baddest blogger. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, William, all right, who is a victim? All y'all was getting paid and paid in the summer shave. Uh, hi, Trey Carter. Uh, you have to remember. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, producers. Let me let me uh mute the thing. It's my fault, not y'all. It's my fault, my fault, my fault. Sorry. Um, um, <laughs> Y'all saw his face. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Trey Carter, you got to remember the breakthrough entity didn't always have the money that they have now. So we were, when, when, when I experienced any kind of victim-like treatment, I was young and we were all poor. As a matter of fact, I, I remember uh, in Payless Shoe Store, Looking at a pair of ten dollars shoes, thinking I can't wait to one day I get money to buy some shoes like this. 
So I don't know what I think. I, and I think I'd be listening. I'd be listening. Even the commentators, because you got to mirror. I've been around and seen a lot. And I'd be like, y'all so close and so far away. And, and the thing is, it'd be so plain. The story, all the stories are out there and y'all still miss it. <laughs> and I'm not talking about you coming for you, Trey Carter, because I don't know. You're actually pretty handsome. Hi. But what I'm saying is, what I'm, let me stop. All right. Next question. If I get in trouble. Hi, Trey. Hi, William. What? Listen, let me tell you about William. William is funny. Um, and that V. Terrell here, smoking that correct. I got him fired from AIB. And that V. Terrell here took my website down. And I'm going to get him. That's why he can't adopt no child. Because I told d facts don't let him have no child. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> William, William. <laughs> Vitorel here. That, that's an evil man. That, that man is evil. <laughs> hey, okay. All right. All right. All right. Hi, William. How you doing? Um, I can't. I don't hear what you're saying. Apologize. Oh, oh. Bring what? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. William. William, I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Y'all stop laughing in the comments so I can apologize for it. <laughs> <Hello. clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. William, I am sorry. What, what happens, because y'all remember, I'm from the Larry Reed Live culture. We, back in them days, we didn't play no games. And at the time, I didn't have the grace that I have now. You got to remember, Williams, I had just left Larry Reed Live platform. I was I was trying to figure my life out. And to be honest, William, I hope you're still here. To be honest, I don't even remember how things went down. I really don't. Honest to God, I don't. And that's why I'm sort of like, hey, William, how you doing? Because it's been so much going on. I don't even remember what happened. All I know was it was something funny about money. And I was like, oh, OK. Was that, oh. But I don't, I don't know. So I am sorry. And if I could fix it, I would. But I don't think it's fixable. I don't think it's fixable. I don't think it's fixable. All right. Oh, hold on. Put, put the other one up, uh, producer, too. I didn't read it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Were you involved in the buffoonery of y'all nakers ain't on my level? Oh. And then, um, well, <laughs> I guess because... I had just came back. I had just came back into the fold. And um, I I didn't produce the music video. That was the other production check. But I was there when it was produced. So that's all I have. And um, I didn't want to be on camera. And I remember when I saw the rough cut, because uh, when I came back, it's so funny. Let me tell you what's funny. Um, no, no more tit. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not being tit for tattish. Um, but yeah, so that's as much, you know, I mean, but if, if, if they like it, I love it. I don't, I don't, I mean, it's not my thing. Next. Have you decided who you're doing your interview with? <laughs> I need to, y'all listen, when I get off this good God live, first of all, I gotta go take a shower because I left the house today thinking I was coming back and I still ain't went back home. Okay. <laughs> so I gotta go take a shower. All right. I, I happened to have at my, okay. Cause <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in my studio area. My mom, I'm, this is really, this, this wall might look familiar now, but the next time I come live, I'll be behind another wall because this is now a temporary studio area, but I have my, these are my studio shirts. So I'm sweaty. And now I got a studio shirt on and I'm so glad I eat right. Because I probably would be stinking right now. So, yes, I, what I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm going to go wash my behind. I'm going to go get me some chocolate. Well, no, well, you said vegetables, ain't it? I'm going to get me some, some chocolate cake. I'm going to sit my ass down somewhere. Okay? So I, I'm going to give it two. Give me a two-week rest. Give me a two-week break, y'all. I just want a two-week break. And then um, when I come back in two weeks, I would like to have known who, who's going to interview me. And, and by the way, that's a pretty picture of you, Steph to fly Hi. I'm a hey, Steph Two Fly. I'm an equal opportunist. 
I call myself gay, but I sway. I call myself gay, but I lay. I call myself gay, but I, okay. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you want to be like Larry Reed and have the money and fame he has? Do you feel like you're supposed to be where he is? Oh, that's such, that is such an interesting question. Um, I, I, I have two sides to that. I served Larry well and faithfully. Anything good happened to me, I deserve it. All right. Let me say this. A lot of people see similarities and, and uh, there is people that have said, there is people back when there would be people in my uh, private community and still in his private community, they would say, I would teach it on Thursday and then he would teach it on Sunday. And um, I know there might be some similarities and that's okay because when you spend that much time with someone, it's supposed to be similarities. What I'm doing is getting my heart right, not my actions, okay? So uh, do you want to be like Larry? Why would the hell I want to do that when I'm doing really good being Vincent? Because let me tell you this. Think about it. Is Larry doing this right now? If you're comparing commercials and microphones, girl, you blind. Oh, boy, you blind. Larry ain't on here telling the truth. <laughs> if I was going to be like Larry... I wouldn't be doing this. And, a lot, and sometimes we think too low. You got to see beyond what you see. If Larry would just come on and tell the truth, these people wouldn't be coming after him. It's all, Listen, he has made himself an easy target because he won't tell the truth. So now it even makes it easy for people to lie on him. <laughs> Why? Because he, he ain't going to tell the truth anyway. You done said no to the truth when you say no to a lie and nobody going to believe you. It's crying wolf. Do you feel like you're supposed to be where he is? Where is he at? You don't own a house. You don't own nothing. If that prayer line closed down right now, what, what do you got? Like for real. I was, a, let me tell you this. When he took that money from me, I was able to sustain my livelihood when he came back in January, I was still driving my Mercedes and still living in his three-story townhouse. Now, my money done got funny lately. But, <laughs> but the point is, no, so, so y'all, y'all, what they say, BFFR. And I get it. But you got to remember, y'all, I spent a long time with this guy. So there's going to be a lot of similarities. Yeah. Did Larry really have a heart for God? Uh, no. What happened, in my opinion, in my opinion, Larry was raised in a religious institution. And you got to understand what I call prophetic culture. Go, Hey, uh, leave, leave the questions up. Have you found peace and love after your relationship? I call myself in love right now, but the person don't love me back. <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Um, no, I no, I haven't. I'm single. I told you my bed is uh, I found peace. But I uh, have I found love? You talking about like romantic love? Um, no, I'm single. Um, I just became internally aligned to the point where I'm open to be in relationships now. I honestly believe that my sex life took a turn so that I can really work through this purification properly. Because my sex life was a little warped. And y'all know, and those that know, know, I'll get to talk about all my business on here. My sex life was warped. You said no? Okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> my sex life was warped. So where are my fouls? I'll get them to you. If, if I can get my hands on them. If I can get my hands on them, I'll give them to you, okay? That's my word to you. Uh, here's my word. If I can get my hands on them, William, I will give them to you. Right? I, I am trying to clean my karma, y'all. William, hear me. I'm trying to clean my karma. I will, I will, I will give you your files, okay? You can have them. You, you, I'm not going to say you win. I think I win because I held them until I, gave, I decided to give them that. But we'll call it a truce just because Jesus is Lord. All right. I mean, that's what y'all say. All right, next question. This is, uh, what do you think? What? Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, producer 2, it's okay to do the performative. I think I read that this is giving performative. Okay, well, you're still on, so enjoy, I guess. 
What do you think Larry is saying about you right now? Just narcissists, narcissists don't have uh, run-ins with the truth, do they? Oh, oh, so Larry, okay. With that being said, Larry really believes what he's saying about me. Larry 100% believes that I'm a disgruntled employee. But Larry, be careful because I remember when we did that James Hall story. Um, be very careful. I just thought about that because let me give you some advice. That's how James Hall messed up. And, and we got a lot of karma to, re, to rehash, okay? Because we put out a lot of stuff. We should have did that, James. Knowing that you and I was having sex or whatever you want to call it, sexual relationship, we should have did that James Hall story. And because we did, be careful, because that's what James Hall said to the, his boyfriend. He was just an upset fan. So you got to be real careful because I'm spirit sensitive. And let me tell you why you got to be careful. You ain't never been called out by nobody like me before. I got clean hands and a pure heart. The universe. You, you, you bet it would be wise just to let me be. Because I'm about to go back and do spirituality and consciousness. But, but you got to be careful. There's some people you don't mess with because they're approach. My truth is my divine protection. You got to understand. I walk in truth for divine protection. So you got to be careful. You, you just, so it, it, I just thought about that. You can't, you can't play that game because that, that'll get you in trouble. What do you think, Larry? Oh, that's all right. Next. Child, I feel like I'm on a roller rink uh, the way this commentary has started skating. <laughs> oh, hi, D. Shawanda. Uh, again, I sway. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Do you and the other men you expose have a father fracture? Um, that is a wonderful question. I had a father fracture. That is the reason why I ended up in the space I was in. And what happened was at that time, my parents and I were at odds. So it was easy to fall into the arms of a manipulator. But let me tell you right now. Everything that I told y'all yesterday, my parents knew since 2018. My parents know everything about me. They are uh, staunch Pentecostal Church of God in Christ pastors. And they've accepted their very interesting, unique, sometimes loud, sometimes quiet, speaking in tongues, but cuss you out, prophesy gay son. Uh, they're praying for me right now, and I'm praying for them. But I had to heal. And, and in my healing, I started, uh, I reached out to my parents and got it right. But the question is, yes, Loch Ness. In order to get caught up in the manipulative situation I got caught up in, there had to be some kind of fracture in the ancestral line. He said Kendall had father issues and Shemako had, he finds the broken ones to manipulate. Absolutely. That is my experience. I know y'all seen my question twice. It's okay. I know why. I just want to hear. Uh, a, official King Jive show, I need to help you something. Um, the person that's doing the comments is not on the YouTube streets. I just showed them how to work StreamYard about 15 minutes before we went live. And I don't know if you understand it or not. These are a lot of comments. And because I know there's a hierarchy, and, and let me give you your props. You are known in the YouTube streets, but that ain't this kind of show. In a normal show, we would, I'm sure we probably pulled you in, but that's not my platform. We're spirituality and consciousness. So anybody working on my side is probably not going to be like, official King Josh show, let's put them up there. So it's not personal, okay? But I tell you what, put a proper question up and producer too, if you would, find it. And let's hear what he got to say. And, and unroll them eyes and then most you can't. Can't be no king with an attitude. Yeah. So, so was this a relationship or just a situation? This sounded more like a relationship than you guys just fooling around. Uh, okay, let me tell you what happened. I had sex with Larry from 2003 to 2016. I never forget. Um, and Larry would not allow me to like anybody else. Um, if he found out I had a crush on a coworker or not, that it would be a lot going on if that happened. And so I thought we were in a relationship. Um, and then um, I never forget, I was on a three-way call with Mako, Larry, and myself. We were trying to fix things. 
And I said, Larry, how can you say that to me? They were talking about I'm always disgruntled. And I'm always and I, 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 I do have the bad. Anything they say, just believe it. And then we can just live for it. Right. Just just do that. Right. So I did have the bad reputation, the disgruntled. But if you stuck in the closet with your pastor who don't speak to you until you're having sex or don't really show you affection until you're having sex, you'd be mad, too. Right. So anyway, I'm so they felt like I wasn't being a team player. And I'm like, y'all be FFR. How does we be a team player when I'm <laughs> when I'm, I'm living with my ex and his X is coming over every day. I'm confused. And that man told me, what are you talking about? We would never know relation. I said, Larry, we had sex for 13 years. At least once a week. Who helped LR start the nonprofit? Um, uh, Jesus, next. Make it make sense. Okay. Next. Make it make, oh, I, I was just being funny. Let me say this about Make It Make Sense. I don't know if Make It Make Sense is going to be the one, but let me tell you what. I like Make It Make Sense. Uh, I listened. Let me tell you. I've only watched two, three, three commentaries. All right, let me say this. And I don't want to get in trouble. No, because it's going to look like I'm picking sides. I don't want to look like I'm picking sides. All right. But there, I did watch one yesterday. Y'all are funny. I was laughing. I was laughing. Um, but let me say this. Um, Make it make sense. I watched your commentary today. And though you had some questions even about me, which is fair, you should. I felt like you were really like just really just in the middle, just trying to get the things out there. So, excuse me, though I. Uh, sorry, I ate fast before I got on live. Uh, though I uh, don't know you, you don't know me. I, li I like that. I think that more commentators should be down the middle. So you don't want to Tasha K to interview you? Um, I haven't made a decision, guys, y'all. I haven't made a decision. Like um, That's all I'm saying about the interviews. I have not made a decision. Uh, yeah. All right. So what is the end game once this news cycle is over? I love that D underscore Shawanda. I've told y'all already, this is it. And I know it's hard to believe because re people really be out there trying to like, what did it say? Uh, what did it say that? Uh, clout chase and run it and then invite people to the Patreon and do all. I, honest to God, this is it. I, I promise y'all this. If this ain't it, it's because, it's because we felt like we needed to do something. But if nothing, I promise you, this is it. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much. I did this for a clear conscience and karma, a karma cleanse. They really have to keep me on. <laughs> I do this for clear conscious and karma cleanse, uh, D. Shawanda. This is it. So if y'all don't hang around, it's okay. It's really okay, all right? Um, do you think it's okay for D.L. Black men? Oh, all right. Do you think it's okay for D.L. Black men in the community, inside and outside the church, to marry black women and use them for portrayal? Oh, that they, that they good God. Would you send it to chat GPT next time? It's a lot. That they are heterosexual or make it back. All right, let me say this. I hate it with a passion. But it's not always the gay black man's fault. There's not enough space in the black church for gay black men to be gay black men who love God. And I refuse to be relegated to one or two churches that because I need a black Pentecostal experience. I need to, hmm, bah, 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 bah. I need to, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I cannot do that everywhere. And a lot of affirming places um, that truly have a move of God don't. So, in my opinion, I said a lot, not all. So it relegates you to go into more white, conscious spirituality places. They don't even sing our songs. They don't have our move. Or cosplay like I'm straight from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sunday. And I refuse to do both. So guess what I do? I have prayer every Saturday morning at 8.30 in the morning. Okay? And we holler. This room will be filled up. Hey! Glory! So anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Why did Latrice, oh Jesus Christ. Why did Latrice and Mako marry knowing they didn't want the other? Do you think Latrice and Larry and Mako were together? Does their son know? I don't want to answer that. I've said all I'm going to say about that. Because that's, after that, you don't want to piss on people when they're down. Right? You know how the people feeling right now? 
I don't care what unified front they put up in the next coming days. Them people is going the ruin. Them, let, let, let's be human for a second. I sideswiped them people from Canada to New Mexico. I mean, to Mexico. I dragged them for filth. Let them people breathe. The only person that truly need to be dragged right now is the one that do all the dragging. Leave the rest of them alone for right now, okay? All right. Um, I'm personally shocked. I started watching LRR when you were on. I thought you all was just tight. I didn't even think you were involved. Uh, yeah, 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 I was. I was. Like I said in that video, I've had more gay sex than I would like to have had. Before and after Larry, because I had some after Larry too, so I'm not trying to act like, I ain't trying to put no words, I ain't trying to, you know, no narrative. All right. All right. Okay. Is there any outing of others if they don't pay? You know how much sex I have to have to do that? Jesus Christ, that's, I, I got to save my soul. I mean, I get what you're saying because you don't believe me and you have a right to not believe me. That's your, that's your own thing. I mean, but I mean, I tell, I, oh, I got a good answer. Watch what I do next. If y'all think I'm in it for the money, I'm definitely not in it for the money from Larry because what? I mean, it, it, the only way that I would be in it for the money with Larry is if I, if I, if what I show him, never, never mind. I can't say that now because I laughed and y'all going to, never mind. We're good. Watch what I do next. Who thought it was a good idea to line both families up and discuss all the parents' romantic sexual dealings in front of the children? A lot of times what would happen is, well, I got to be careful because believe it or not, most of the stuff I talked about happened uh, when I was in an NDA. Uh, I can't talk about that. Next. <laughs> yeah, let me say that. Y'all know I was up in NDA, right? In order to be a part of the NBA, why didn't I? What? Yeah, why are you coming out now? Why are you coming out now? First of all, I had it. When I came back in 2021, at the height of Daryl and Levantre in January all the way to February, I was up under NDA. From February to July, I was just trying to enjoy my life. From July to January, I was trying to not make the ship sink because Larry got me with the money. <laughs> so, next question. Can Bishop Jordan be trusted? You know, one of my safe space members said, leave Bishop Jordan alone um, because. And I don't know why they said that to me, because that was random. And I just thought about it. And I'm not scared. And I'm not scared. If I was scared, I wouldn't do this. So I'm just I don't know. Wisdom say, I'll tell you what. Let me tell you all this. This situation that we are all looking at is so toxic. When it's all said and done, we're going to know everything. All right, next question. What did you do to my... Okay, William, I, honest to God, I don't know what you're talking about. I, my right hand to the God that you serve and the God that I serve, they're probably two different gods, but um, not because... <laughs> hold on. What I mean is I'm not a traditional Christian. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about your God, William. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. No, William, I promise I didn't. At this point, I admitted about the website, right? So I don't have nothing to lie about. I honest to God did not touch it. And, and William, if somebody we mutually know told you that, then put it in the comments. Ex William, if somebody told you that, put their name in the comments so we can talk about it together. Next. Are you trying to, to are you trying to do this to grow your channel? Money is one thing, but residual income is another. Okay, Haitian hey, QT, let me tell you this. Um, in order to grow this channel where I get a livable wage, I would, every video would have to have a hundred thousand views. Um, that's number one. Number two, you got to think, I want all you all to think, everybody that think that I want you to think for a second. Most of you guys, most of you guys come from the traditional church space or from the kind of uh, hot topic space. My content is neither. 
I am well aware, once I stop talking about this, many of you guys are going back. That would make more sense, Haitian QT, if I was in line with the Larry Live or the others or, you know, the Daryls or the Make It Make Sense. You know, if I was talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta or something like that. That's not. And if you think I'm wrong, just look at all my content. So it doesn't make it doesn't make it, and I know you don't understand this, Haitian QT, but for all of you guys that think that, that doesn't make good YouTube sense. In order for that to work, I would have to start doing hot topics. Now, if I started doing that, then that would make sense that I'm trying to grow my channel from this. Have you experienced church hurts in the church that you could share with us? Uh, Mickey Jones Ray, I had, I was 23 years old and I had a 13 year relationship with a very uh, manipulative, narcissistic pastor that would, I'll stop right there. I have had the worst. What was the issue with King Jives then? I never bothered you all, so what was the issue? <laughs> King, okay. Hold on, King Jives, I think your calendar is a little messed up. I had heard there was an issue between you and Larry, but you got to remember, I was gone. Because I, the, King Jives, you got to remember, I've seen you one time, and that was when I was working with Maddie's team, and we were in Orlando doing that thing. And you and I spoke cordially. If there was an issue between us, I would have either addressed it or not spoke to you cordially. So I think you're sort of mixing apples and oranges. Me and you, King Jives, excuse me, let me make sure, because I've had a lot of life. As far as I can remember, King Jives, you and I have never had an issue. Maybe you had an issue with the brand. But that wasn't me. And if it was me, King Jives, I'm cleansing my karma. Please forgive me. You and me are cool until you and me are not cool. So you don't have no issue. So that's why you said that. Yeah, yeah. And the person that's doing the uh, comments know me very, very well. So that's not the place. Okay, so me and you are good, King Jives. Next. Every answer. To, uh, yes, Polish girl run. My All right. Can y'all not let, can y'all remind me not to go so long for the, for the answer? Okay. If Larry had to tell you his accountant was stealing, how do you know what funds Larry's using to fund his lifestyle? If Larry had to tell you his accountant was stealing, how do you know what funds Larry's using? Okay. Because I know. And I'm only saying that because I know. Um, and that's it. And, and, oh, and oh, hold on, I was thinking, and I have had personal conversations with some of the staff that also felt uncomfortable that all of this flashy was going on on YouTube. You all were accountable to Larry spiritually. Who is he accountable to? Who made him apostle? Um, he did. Yeah, Larry never really had a real spiritual covering, not a real bona fide covering or mentor until Bishop Jordan. I mean, he had pass throughs. He had this one guy, but they had a falling out or something. I don't know. Yeah, but that was him. He was his apostle. Are you coming out now? Do you feel hypocritical? Am I coming out now? <laughs> I've been gay for so long. I forgot when I came out. Hold on. I'm so, listen, I'm so out the closet, Kimberly Dorsey. I want to go back in. I'm tired. But I understand. You don't know me. I don't know you. Kimberly Dorsey, I officially came out the closet in 2016. And I basically did it on Larry Live. I, I it was a Monday, and I said, "What? Oh, you know what? That's true, right? Yeah, that, uh, but I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't want to be long. Now that you've exposed, what are you doing to atone? This is my atonement because I told you about the covenant in the confession. This is my atonement. All right, we're gonna do rapid fire now. All right." Now that you have lifted the burden and exposed LR, what's next for you? Do you wish bad on LR? No, I don't. Um, is your spirit in Larry's bread basket too? <laughs> ah! All right, moving on. Does, does, does Larry really have a, low, whole, a whole lot of lawyers? I'm not scared of nobody. I'm only scared of me. I ain't nothing to play with. Did Larry know you you was audio taping him? No, he didn't. He didn't. 
He did not. He really thought I had. He had me in his pocket. He didn't know it. But in Georgia, only one person. When it comes to revealing secret audios, I just had to be a part of the conversation. Is there anyone in Larry's inner circle who is heterosexual? Moving on. We're not pissing on the inner circle anymore. We've done that enough. Did Larry buy you a car too? No. No. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't even know me. When I went to go buy my first Mercedes, y'all don't know this, but Larry was asking me to come up, and I knew why. I knew why he wanted to come up because he wanted to put some money on it, but I didn't want him to. So I asked another friend to go with me. And when he said, where are you at? I'm coming up there. I said, well, so-and-so with me. And he said, okay, never mind. Because I knew if he knew that person was with me, he wouldn't come. Some people call me dumb, but I can say that no, he didn't. But now he bought a lot of stuff, but I bought, always bought my own cars. Is Bernard Jorman a part of the network? Absolutely. Now that I will say, he is aiding and abetting a narcissist. And I hate that because I don't know why I like Bishop Jordan. And I'm sorry. And, and I, maybe it's that thing in my heart that needs to get still, but I don't know why I do, but I do. And it bothers me that he is allowing this. All right. I'm moving fast now. Kaya was on to something. Yes, she was. Now, hold on. Kaya didn't have to do Maddie like that because I was in it and I was behind the scenes. Kaya did not. Kaya could have called what she called, but not disparaged Maddie. And that's two things can be true at once. You could call, you can be true and an asshole at the same time. So, yeah. Are you going to apologize to Timothy Hinton? And Ky hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, pro producer two. Now, see, my people are not a part of all of this. So she don't know this. Producer two, do not ever, and I'm not fussing, but I'm making a stand for what's right. Do not ever put a comment that has a name, Timothy Hinton, Elite underscore visions go to hell. Now get 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 her off the screen, you dirty bastard. William, shut the hell up. I done told you I'm doing it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I just said I'm doing it. All right, next question. So is your position that you didn't know about the allegation until oh my God. All right, I know it's a lot going on. All right, so let me try to break it down. I want all of y'all to listen. Please listen to me about these allegations. I'm going to say this. I'm about to say it again. The allegations happened, I don't know, 2010, 2011. I found out in 2016. When I found out, I found out from Larry. I was in Albany, Georgia with my parents, and he called me saying, what are we supposed to do about this? Why? Because he always does that. He just didn't do it in 2010 or whenever it happened. I said, like, what are you talking about? Yeah, because Levantria, I said, what? Yeah, I said, well, what happened? He said, something, something, something. I don't remember. It's just something real. General. I said, don't pay that boy no attention. Just let him go. So Mako, who knew everything, was saying, no, Larry, we got to deal with it. And I was like, Mako, no, if we deal with it, it's going to put fire to it. Because I thought, Levant, I honestly thought Levante was just being a dumb young person and mad at Larry. So he was accusing him of something. 2016, I left in 2018 and I went to go talk to Levante in 2018. Talk about the contract marriage. I'm not pissing on them no more. Stand up for Matt. Right. I don't play that. Matt, I, 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 I was Maddie's uh, media tech for two years. And I was, I, matter of fact, for context, I recommended Mo for the job and trained Mo because Mo is my alleged best friend because he was supposed to stop by today and say, hey, and he didn't. At any rate, um, Maddie did right by me. And when me and Maddie didn't get along, we go blow for blow, get it over with, and move on. I don't know anybody else's issues with T.S. Madison, but my personal issue with T.S. Madison is none. She paid me, and she paid me when she said she would pay me, and when she couldn't pay me, she say, murder, can you wait to Friday murder? And I'm like, sure. What do you think Carlton Pearson would have thought about this? I don't want to get upset. There's a lot of us, I felt like Carlton Pearson was politicized. 
And I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. How you got 18K subs and 45 viewers? What are you talking about? If I, I hope I got 18,000 subs. Hold on for a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. If so, he'd have a shot up. You know, but shut up a whole shot up behind you. Buddy, I got 3,000 subs, okay? Do you feel a weight off your shoulders since you came out with your truth? Let me tell you what happened. Me and the producer really moves prophetically, right? We, I slept like a baby last night. And we were like, oh, we feel good. And we got this thing that came us on us out of nowhere. It was like, oh, God, we got to go live tonight. I cannot wait. Once I move... And settle, I cannot wait to sleep. I'm going to sleep for two weeks, I promise. All right. But AC, step up next because I'm moving fast. Larry doesn't owe me any money. For those of y'all that think I'm doing it for money, he don't owe me any money. Larry paid me what he was supposed to pay me. Oh, my God. The producer need a YouTube. <laughs> oh, uh, producer two, they're getting on you, babes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, next. One thing about life, you're going to reap everything you sow. Larry's no exception. Right, right, right. Absolutely. He's no exception. He's no exception. What was, uh, how, do, how many degrees does Larry really have or does, uh, I'm not going to do that today. Where is Mo? Um, where is he? Um, Mo is my buddy, though. Mo is good. I love Mo. I, and Mo, Mo works a lot with TS, so, you know. Next question. You are very brave for speaking. Having consensual relationship is one thing. Molestation is another. He should be exposed. <sighs> I want y'all to know I wasn't there. Here is, here is all I can say about that. I cannot. Here's what, like I said, here, here is the line I draw. Sharon Andrews gave Levantre Andrews to me, Michael O'Brien, Nathan Locklear, Larry Reed, and maybe somebody else. My stance is this, because I, when I asked Larry, why, is, and I'm, I didn't say it like this at the time, but I'm talking free now. I said, why is this boy saying stuff that basically you did to me, he did to you? Larry said, well, I told him. And what I said to Larry was, at, so at this point, whether you told him that, that you're fetishes or you did it, you're wrong. So Levantre needs a get out of jail free card. Levantre should have the right to say whatever the hell he want to say that he get tired. Y'all hear me? And, and, and let, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Levantre, if you're watching this, put in the comments, because I've heard everybody say about this mediation and stuff. I know Larry didn't go ahead and press with this lawsuit or something. It just dawned on me because I haven't really been in. If Larry, my advice to Larry, I said, let him fizzle out. I, I put that on there. If he went through with it, that ain't good. A liar has bad memory. The fact that V. Terrell Hill is answering the same question without deviating shows you're credible. I believe you. Well, unless I'm good. Now, hold on, hold on. I could be good. So that's not always, but in my case, it is. If you're doing an interview, please don't do it. Y'all, please don't get me in trouble. I'm not doing that. Producer 2, can you highlight this for me? Vincent, I'm so very proud of you, and I'm so glad you told the truth, not your truth. I remember 2017 very well. I do, too. I do, too. Thank you. And, and let me tell you this. For you and everyone else, y'all, I, I, I see the DMs and text messages, but listen. I present strong, but I have to go breathe and meditate. I'd be nervous. What happened down to the basement at T.S. Madison home? Why did Kia leave that day? Oh, that's old news. No, that's old news. That's old. That basement got remodeled, and when the basement got remodeled, that memory did, too. So it's something I, I, can't, I don't know what happened. B. Terrell Hill, did you say Larry, or Larry Reed doesn't own a house, condo, or town? No. How are you a millionaire? Because when you're a millionaire, it's net worth. You can have a oh, move on. Okay, somebody scream, move on. Whoops, sorry. I heard you didn't have to be that loud. If I'm going to be something, 
I'm going to be so mad if God smacked me with sulfur and fire because Larry and his concubine. <laughs> Hold on, I'm the concubine. That ain't funny. <laughs> Larry appears to be a groomer attacking other groomers. Um, I'm going to say this. I got upset. We did. I think episode four was about honesty. That pissed me off. when he. I don't feel like, honestly, I told people around me, when Carlton Pearson died, because you got to remember, and I think, I think Larry should consider this too. We had sex for 13 years, and I was around you since 2018 and came back for another year. I know you, you like you know me. You understand? I can read, I can read one post and know exactly what's going on. Quick. That's what happened yesterday. The producer brought a post to me. This was Larry's response. I said, okay. I said, ABC to FG, we good. Let's go. I'm clear. See, I think y'all, I think y'all believe the hype. I really think a lot of y'all believe. Like some of them LRLers believe. <laughs> so anyway, when Carlton Pearson died, somebody sent me a post and I read it. I said, watch what happens. I know I was going to be responsible. <laughs> but I said, watch what happens. He going he gonna to go too far with this. Because Larry got this thing where he get hyper fixated on something and it do too much. He go too far. He, he got too deep into the Carlton Pearson thing. And the next thing you know, his hyper fixation was T.D. Jakes. And I said, I told y'all, I told you. Because it was like he, I saw, I, I read his energy. I can feel it. I, I said, oh, he, uh oh, he gone. I said, Larry's going to make a dumb mistake. And when he did his T.D. Jakes thing, I said, oh, he done messed up. How am I supposed to know? I guess because I knew everything else. I don't know that. Sorry. William McRae seems like someone has gotten to him. Do you think he's been offered payment? I, I said that to somebody today. And William, I, I don't have no beef, but we're going to be honest. I said that because let's, let's do the math. I purposely went to William's page just to have fun because honestly, I love William McRae because he's so funny. That V Terrell here. William, you're funny to me. You really are. I just think you just too, sometimes you do too much, but you're funny to me. So I went over there just for, for, for shits and giggle. And 13 hours, 12 hours, 15 hours, you ain't made no post? I said, hmm, I think William is waiting on instructions. Oh, God. I, just, I just made a man. Hold on. <laughs> no, William you, William, you need to speak up. There ain't no way in the world this story broke at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. And you ain't made no post to hours later? Same thing with CTV. I just went to go peek over there, see what he had to say. Because I'm human. And I said, hold on. He had posted some random thing while y'all were blowing my comments up. I said, oh, he wait for instructions too. Got it. Did you have sex with LR when you came back for that year? No. No. I have not had sex with Larry Reed since 2016. All right. I, I, I already answered that one already. What are your views? Oh, oh, I've been saying this stuff since 2010 when, oh, Lord. Hi, Javer. How are you? Um, I've been saying this stuff since 2010 when Reed. Threw me out the church. It's crazy watching you all now in this unravel. What's next? I was a kid when I met you all. Javer, let me say this to you. Um, I know people call me a lot of things. Watch how well I get in and get out of this. And I think that sometimes we have to let it go. And I think we stay too long and that negativity can get in us. Watch how I get out of this and go on about my life. You hit and go. I don't care if conscious TV. <laughs> Let me just say this. I know I got nudes out there. And you know what I say to everybody around me about my nudes? I hope I was, it was the skinny version of me. That's probably the only reason I go live. They drop a nude and it's fat me. You got to let it go. And I hope for all of you all, uh, Javer, that had those experiences. I hope you guys are not mad anymore. And I hope y'all let it go because nobody deserves that. What is this Larry versus Terrell drama shows us is if you're serious about your business, find a non-black assistant or confident. 
we can't seem to work with our own people without falling apart and spilling. Um, I get it. I mean, if you believe it, if you like it, I love it. God bless you, Red Star. But I, I, I hate you think about your people like that because I never forget that uh, I had some roommates, right? And the roommate, we were all in the living room and the roommate said, that's why I want to live with black people because they don't pay their rent on time. I said, uh, buddy, we pay our rent on time every month and we're black. What are you talking about? Let me tell y'all what I learned. No, nope, I can't do that because I got rebuked by going to that. All right, we're done. Next. Can you please offer it? Oh. Last question and I'm done so I can take my time on this. All right. Oh, no, I'm tired. I don't get the strength. You said what happened? Okay. You said, I'm going to go. All right. I'm going to go. Right. Let me tell you why um, this is important. There's another piece to this that you guys have. I don't know if many have discerned. I'm setting people free. It might not be everybody. There might be one person. Somebody heard my voice and they're about to leave an abusive situation. But they're not going to wait like I waited. They're going to tell. It might not be nobody well known, so the bloggers might not report on it. Let me tell you, Iris C., if you want advice on red flags, fall in love with yourself. When you fall in love with you, you're going to prioritize you. You're going to know what you want and be able to communicate with what you want. And because you're so connected to you, you're going to be clear on what works for you and what don't work for you. And when you do that, you're going to have a conversation with somebody and say, ah, I mean, they're cool, but something about them I just don't like and move on. And because you're so connected to you, it's not vitriol and it's not about your spirit. It's just like that, that don't work for me. So I'm going to go do something else. One of the reasons why I am a soul healer is because I have found that most people don't believe in themselves. They believe in their favorite vlogger more than they believe in themselves. They believe in pastor more than they believe in themselves. So most people don't have red flags because they gave them all away. But I want to tell you, get your red flags back. Go get your dignity back. Go stir up some trouble. Next time you go to family reunion, think about me and blow that table up. Aunt Susie, why the hell you did that 10 years ago? I, I want more people to do what I did yesterday. F it up. Because let me tell you what I did. Because I did what I did. See, normally... Normally, when people accuse, they accuse one person. So everybody around them get to sit back. I don't know why they did that and beat keyboard warriors and all that stuff. But what I did, I forced a conversation. Because one person had to look at the other person and say, how does he know that? Y'all don't, y'all, y'all, why you don't expose people? You, no, 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 no. I was, I, I, I done told y'all I'm smart, and the parts that I'm not smart, I pray a lot and speak in tongues a lot. <laughs> so it made me look smart. The parts that I'm not smart, smart, I got people around me. The main producer is very balanced. I had a whole script written out, and they went and changed everything. <laughs> and then said, read it. So I don't, I'm getting off topic. So fall in love with yourself and you won't have no problems. All right. Okay. Marla. <laughs> Marla. Marla. Marla, give me some, give me a moment, Marla. I'm going to get back with you. All right. Give me a moment. Y'all got to realize I got a lot going on right now. Marla, I saw your email, but you got to remember there are a whole bunch of emails and there are a whole bunch of text messages and a whole bunch of DMs right now. And, and I got to do self-care. You know what I'm saying? I got to take care of myself. So y'all bear with me. William is not playing with you. What did William say? 
Additionally, based on you being so low down and getting paid and still taking my sight, so I was not in a hurry to do a story in defense of you. Okay, that's fair. All right, all right, all right, all right, fair. Fair. All right, fair. Fair, William. Touche. Touche. William, I want my files of sight back on my... William, I didn't do nothing to your YouTube channel! Glory to God. <laughs> I done told you... Vincent Terrell Hill did not take down your YouTube channel. All right, and all right, I got my signal. All right, I'm done. Listen, I don't, I don't know y'all. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Thank you, Frida. Am I okay? I am. I'm tired. Why am I tired? God put me in surgery in September. I got COVID. When I got COVID, I got the bad COVID. I was on my back. And all I could do was be in my mind. And then after that, I had COVID for nine days straight. I tested positive. And then I had COVID fatigue for two weeks. When I came up out of COVID, I came up out of a new man. And I've been shifting and transitioning and shifting and transitioning and shifting and transitioning ever since. And that shift and transition has cost me a lot at the same time. I need to go sit my tail down somewhere so I can feel the benefit of what I've done. All right. All right. God bless all of you all. My girl. I love you and your husband. Deeply. Let me say this, y'all. Angela Alonzo. Um. My, my tarot card reader would tell this. I cried on the phone today. And I told her, and I don't talk about this a lot. Angela, Alonzo, I, and all of y'all, Levantre, all of y'all, I did this for y'all too. All right? If there was anybody that's going to do this, I felt like Angela, I'm saying Angela, but every one last one of y'all, I felt like I disappointed y'all. Because I felt like if there was anybody that was supposed to do this, y'all knew it was me. And I turned my back and found my own peace. And I was talking to my tarot card reader today. And we were talking about karmic, because she brought up the, the karmic cleanse. And I cried and I cried. And I was telling her, I said, I, I, I feel like I was holding this in my heart the whole time. So I want you guys to feel vindicated alongside me. Because a lot of us was done, done wrong in that church. All right? All right. <clears throat> All right. Okay, producer two, can you please stop? Because you know I'm going to keep on going. Praise God. And, and I hear you laughing. It ain't funny. All right. Um, uh, uh, no, but you devil, you. I see your spirit. You did that on purpose. Uh, go, go to the adverts. Um, it's the final one. Play the final. Uh, it says final advert. All right. Listen, I'm not asking for a cash app. I'm not asking for any. Here's what I'm saying. If you like me, if something, hmm, just felt that. Let me, let me. If, if something in you feels gravitated towards me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and look at my stuff. Email me. My email is. Well, no, link tree me that has all of my information. Connect with me. Y'all don't have to stay, I promise. You don't have to stay. For those, I am a soul healer. I help people believe in themselves. That's all I do, right? I, that's, all, that's my gimmick. I help people believe in themselves. You say, oh, you brave. How did you do that? I can share with you how I did it, all right? That's all I do. Stay around. For the rest of you, I really enjoyed you guys. Those comments and everything, I really did. But we, we could just be like one-offs. We could be like, you know what? It was a one-night stand, and we had a great time. Some of you I want to stay so we can date, and some of you I want to marry. All right? All right. Uh, producers, all yours. Y'all be blessed. Bye.
I hope you enjoyed today's show. I really, really, really want to connect with you, all right? I would love for you to join our email community. In the description box of this video is a link. You click it, put your name and email address in the information, press submit, and you are going to be a part of our email community. But guess what? You got to check your spam box because there's a double opt-in. So you got to confirm that you truly meant to sign up. So as soon as you sign up, about three minutes after, check your spam box and let these people know, this ain't spam. Would you like to be notified every time we go live? There's a simple way to do that. Join our free text club. All you got to do is text V Terrell Hill to this number, 833-458-3658. You just text it. Text V Terrell Hill to 833-458-3658. I am gifted to help people become their best self, and I want to offer you a free consultation. There has never been one person that has had a free consultation with me that did not leave better than when they came, all right? All of that information I just went over is in the description box connected to this video.